see her stepping into the plate right now to face Madison Taylor, who gets the start for Michigan State in game two. First pitch misses, and we are underway in game two of the doubleheader at 5.34 p.m. from East Lansing. Badgers have now won 12 of 14. Trying to continue that stretch into this game and gets a 2-0 in Big Ten play. Pitch misses just low. Trina Comerford now behind the plate. Brian Smith moving over down the third baseline over the first, excuse, or excuse me, Brian Smith down the first baseline. Kevin Condor, another umpire for us in game two. So Dashney pops it up and Kendall Cates with an easy play for out number one. Cates getting the start behind the plate in game two for Michigan State and gets some early action. Yeah, good work right there from Taylor, able to jam her and just pop it straight up and easy out number one. Sir Dashney had a really good first at bat to start the ball game for the first of the doubleheader and right there just able to jam her. Good start to this one for Michigan State. Madison Taylor, the sophomore from Fortville, Indiana, transfer from Ball State. Struggled a little bit this season in the early going. One and three record on the year. ERA at 7-4-1. This is just the fourth start for Taylor. Now facing Katie Keller. Keller coming off of a decent game in game one. Bounces in and evens the count at one and one. We talked about Keller in the first game, how she has gap to gap power, hits a lot of doubles for Wisconsin. Keller one for three, a single and a walk. The two times she reached base in the first of the two. <laughs> Taylor rocks herself into that motion. Misses high and outside Keller. So disciplined, doesn't strike out much, but did strike out in her last at bat in that game. Just the eighth time she struck out all season. That wide open stance. 2-1, high fly ball, right field. Wash tracking it back and makes the catch right in front of the track for out number two. It's another good swing, just warning track power right there, a little bit underneath it. Popped it up to the right fielder, was able to make the catch, and now two away, good start to the, the ball game for Madison Taylor. Now Kayla Conwin, Conwin into the game, 0 for 2 with a pair of walks. Game number one, she's back as a designated player here in game two. And Gidry made it a point in game number one to be very careful pitching to her. Taylor has to do the same thing. And instead, Taylor goes center cut with the first pitch. Gets ahead in the count, 0-1. Don't want to throw that pitch again to Conwood because she will be ready. Conwood so relaxed in that right-handed batter's box. Takes inside, evens the count. Quickly, the defensive lineman for Michigan State in game two. Matello, Mayberry, and Wash, the outfielders. Barroso over at third. Fox is at short. Essman at second. And Allen over at first with Kendall Cates behind the plate. Can't frame that one on the outside edge. The count now to two and one. A yeah, good pitch right there. Just missed a little bit outside. Riley Crane moving up from the five spot to the four spot in this game for Wisconsin. It's on deck if Conwin is able to reach. Called strike. Evens the count two and two. And with the new game, new umpire, home play umpire as well. So you're gonna have a different strike zone. Just try to get used to that as well as the new catcher with Kendall Cates. The two two. Ground ball, third base. Barroso fires across the diamond in time to retire the side of one, two, three. Top of the first, worked by Madison Taylor. Spartan bats to the plate when we come back. This is softball right here on Big Ten Plus. Be very cautious about that and go aggressively at her. Mabry doubled off of Schwartz in the fifth inning. Takes a called strike to start this one. 
So change again. Good pitch to start. She likes to start most batters with that. And with two strikes, we'll go back to it as well. Schwartz got the win in the last game. Dropped the ERA down to 2 4 8. Entering game two. Just below the knees. Evens up the count one and one. And maybe Bruce had some really good swings and at bats this during game number one. He tried to set the tempo again in the second game. Schwartz into that motion. High pop up, left field. Kuffel camping and making the play for a quick out number one. And just lazy fly ball right there. And Called strike. Went with the heater on the first pitch. I like the aggression right there. Just pounding the zone and getting that first pitch strike. Schwartz has been very confident when she starts batters like that. The 0-1. Coach the change up and gets ahead 0-2. And Allen just on the reaction of watching that pitch go by just looks like she is not confident at all and just struggling with that change. Down 0-2, trying to battle. Spartan first baseman. Here in the bottom of the first, the 0-2. Defensive swing. Swats at it. Back into the seats. Down the first baseline. Allen stays alive. She'll see another 0-2 pitch. Just need to work Schwartz. She's already thrown from last game, but you've seen her. You gotta keep on working her if you're Michigan State. The 0-2 again, misses low, counting out a one and two. Gabby Sallow got the start in game one, went two innings for the Badgers before being replaced by Schwartz, who threw five innings, giving up two runs on five hits with one punch out. The one, two. Strike three called. Allen goes down looking, catches the inside corner. Now Macy Lee, caught in game one, the designated player here in game two. Takes first pitch low. Gets ahead in the count, one and oh. Lee had a strong first game, two for four. Para runs batted in, bringing around Jessica Mabry, both in the first and fifth innings. One oh high, hitters count now to Macy Lee. Yeah, good count right here for Lee to get a pitch over the heart of the plate. Let's see if Schwartz makes a mistake. And Lee has some pop. Hasn't shown it too much this season, but dangerous hitter. That's why she's at the top of this lineup. The 2-0. Ground ball, left side, off the glove of Serdashny, and it squirts into left field. Should be a base hit for Macy Lee. And the first base runner of the ball game for either side belongs to Michigan State. Essman moving into the cleanup spot in game two, well out in front. Tried to hold back on her swing, but a bit of a yellow light swing there from the freshman. Yeah, she was out in front, was, wasn't looking for that off speed right there, and just an awkward looking swing. Let's see if she can regain her confidence. 0 for 3 ball game in game one. Wave and a miss on the 0-1. Schwartz quickly out in front. Now try to waste the pitch right here, see if you can get Asman a chase. Schwartz settling back in. Calm and composed in the circle. The 0-2 outside. Esman able to hold off it.
Lee stands over at first. After the two out single, Schwartz trying to work around it. The one, two. Line drive, hooking foul. Down the right field line. Esman got a hold of it, but couldn't keep it fair. Yeah, it was a mistake pitch left over the heart of the plate. Esman was all over it, just a little bit out in front. Big breath right there from Schwartz. Nearly gave a mistake home run. Now you gotta come back with it, probably throw the change. Big bounce back pitch here coming from Schwartz. The one, two again. Pop foul out of play the other way. Esman continuing to fight, trying to stay alive. We've seen Matty Schwartz do it all, including inducing multiple ground balls back to herself. Four ground outs to the pitcher in the final two innings for Michigan State. Esman just gets a piece of it, fouls it off. Back down the first base side. We saw the awkward swing on her first pitch, but then Mandy has really built up her confidence as that this at bat has continued and continues to keep on battling. The one, two. Line drive out to center field. Schlosser going back, looking up off the top of the wall. Lee being waved around third. She'll head to the plate. The throw, not in time. An RBI double from Maddie, Mandy Esman. Trying to add on, slicing line drive foul. Mandy Esman got a good jump on it. She was ready to come around had that one stayed fair. Yeah, Esman's quick as well. Stolen base on the season, hasn't been caught yet but should score Barroso singles. Back-to-back -back games with Michigan State on the board in the bottom of the first. Trying to add on. 0-1, pulled foul down the left field line. So right field, left field. We'll see where Barroso goes here behind 0-2 in the count. And that's what Esmond did in the last at bat. Eventually she got her pitch over the heart of the plate, was able to drive it. Let's see if it happens to Barroso again. Now that was a really good at bat from Mandy Esman. Ball down low, count to one and two. Good eye right there, leaving that down in the dirt. This is where Michigan State needs to capitalize here. One, two, driven out to left field. Kuffel goes back, it's off the wall. Barroso stops at first. Esman comes around to score an RBI single with one on and two away. Fouls it off. It was those, uh, those long at bats leading up to that pitch where they were able to drive it to the wall for Esman and Barroso, working the, the count until they finally got their pitch from Schwartz and They've seen her before already. Now they get to see her in game two, and that's why it's 2 nothing. And Tessa Magnanimo warming in the Wisconsin bullpen. Change up. Number off the end of the bat towards the Michigan State dugout foul. And another 0-2 count. Now let's see if Schwartz tries to waste another pitch down here. Like to go down low, see if you could get her to chase off speed again. Just saw she was way out in front of it. The 0-2, outside. Wash, able to lay off. Short says, my bad, left it a little bit too far out for Wash to chase that one.
the one two. Inside. Yeah, that went off the knob right there. Jammed her inside and caused a foul ball, but you stay alive, so you'll take it. It's a bad break for Wash there. Trying to check the swing, and pitch is inside, but just hits the knob. You know, they say throw the knob of the bat at the ball, but I don't think that's what they mean. That's correct, but sometimes it happens, you know? Either way, another 1-2 count. Michigan State's had success in that count in this inning. Both of the last two Spartan hits coming in 1-2 counts. Schwartz trying to put one away. Goes down in the dirt. Wash chases it and comes up empty. But the Spartans bring home two. Highlighted by Amanda Esman, RBI double. Crane fouls back the first pitch. It was a 1-2-3 top of the first for Madison Taylor on the mound. And then the offense able to get her some run support. Got to be feeling good about that. Yeah, especially in the first inning, that's where you build your confidence. Now you have that lead to work with. Just got to make sure you're able to keep on shutting down the Badgers. Pitch outside, evens the count. Crane had some big hits in the last game, went two of three, pair of runs batted in. Including the two that ended up being the difference in the game. It made it five to one at the time. Spartans were able to get two back. Wave and a miss. Caster up there. And Taylor ahead in the count now, one and two. Big swing right there, kind of pulled her head, was very anxious to get out in front of that one. Just saw her eyes light up and missed that one. Got shortened up here with two strikes. The one, two. Misses low, evens up the count two and two. Two, two coming from Taylor. Sliced into left field, a base hit. Crane stays hot, her third hit of the day. Yep. Between the two games and the leadoff, Player aboard for the Badgers. Oh, just able to extend her hands, cast the barrel out. Good swing right there. Was able to drive it to shallow left field, and you know what? He'll take it. Just kind of flips the hands. Picks up a single. Brooke Kuffel now to the plate. She was in the nine hole in the last game. One for three. Performance earned her a move up to the five spot. Pitch runs inside, and she'll trot down to first base, and Taylor in some trouble, two on, nobody out. And we saw the composure from Gidry in these situations. Now let's see how Madison Taylor is able to handle it for Michigan State. It's a big spot right here. Michigan State's defense has played phenomenal in the first game. Let's see if given the situation, they could turn a double play. Center fielder, Molly Schlosser. That wide stance from that left-handed batter's box. Squares gets it down, a perfect bunt. Throw to first in time. Good job by Cates coming from behind the plate to make the play, but now the tying run into scoring position with just one away. Schlosser doing her job. Smart, smart, smart right there. That was beautiful, a bunt out in front. Laid it down perfectly where both runners can in advance and then your only choice is to get the out at one. Perfect bunt right there. Textbook. And I love the coaching from Wisconsin. Get those runners in a scoring position with some hitters that can possibly drive them in. Now Kristana Angelopoulos. Did go around, could not hold up on that first pitch, and Taylor in front. Good first pitch to start the at-bat. You got infield in. If the runner comes home, they're going to throw. You got to check and make sure that they stay put and then throw to first. 0 oh for 2 for Angelopoulos in game one. Mm. 
Just missing. A little low. Evens the count one and one. I would keep it low in the zone. Don't try to give something for her to drive up because it could also be a sack fly. Squares to bunt. We saw the Badgers get into trouble with this earlier and they're right back in a rundown. Tag laid on, Crane is out. And for the second game in a row, the Badgers failed to execute the squeeze with second and third and one away. I don't know why you went back to it, but right there, it works out for Michigan State. Once again, it's not the base runner's fault at all. If you're the batter, you have to find a way to put the bat on the ball. And right there, an easy out and a big out number two. Once again, a momentum killer. And now Michigan State, similar to that first game, with a chance to get out of this inning unscathed. Runner on third base and a 2-2 count. And I, li I like the small ball to get the runners to second and third, and then in that situation, you're trying to squeeze and it just doesn't work out. Angelopoulos was asking for time, wasn't granted it, then kind of stepped out and finally was granted time. Big pitch right here from Taylor. The 2-2, two -two. high, and the count runs full. Tension building early in game two. These players now in their ninth inning of softball. After game one was a tight one. Five to three Wisconsin win. The three two fouled back out of play. Good battle right here. Just want to keep on working Taylor. See as many pitches as you can. Peyton Monticelli warming up for the Badgers in the bullpen. We'll see if Wisconsin goes to her after this, but they're trying to score first. 3-2, fouled back again. Angelopoulos battling with Madison Taylor. And a walk isn't the worst thing in the world here for Michigan State, but you do get another base runner if you're Wisconsin. Want to attack her right here, though, try to get the out. Crowd getting into it a little bit at Secchia Stadium. The 3-2 again. Popped up, shallow left field. Fox makes the play and the Spartans escape the jam. Another base running mistake for the Badgers. 2-0, Spartans in front. Able to get two runs across with two outs against Schwartz. First pitch misses up. Mandy Esmond's RBI double and Alexis Barroso's RBI single. Bringing across the runs. Kendall Cates trying to do some damage. Pops one up back towards the press box. Count now even one and one. A lot of ones out there, one one count. Battle with number one on the mound and number 11 at the plate. I didn't pick up on that, that's a good one. It's the observation skills you gotta have. <laughs> it is. The 1-1. One, one. Line drive, off of one glove and into another. Fired to first in time. Nice play. A 1-6-3 put out. Lead off, hitter retired for the Spartans. A.J. Militello now to the plate. Been swinging the bat well. A couple of hits from Militello in game one. First pitch, got a little in on the hands, fouled it back. Good job right there, just to try to jam her inside. Like I talked about already, she's had some really good swings today already, and clearly seeing the softball well. Well, it's hello, two for three in game one. Back in the eighth spot once again here in game two. Takes down in the dirt. Evens up the count one and one. Back 
Magna Nemo grabbing the rosin bag there, trying to get that grip. Militello skies one high in the air out to center. Schlossler able to make the play on that one. Two up, two down in the bottom of the second. Anna Fox. Fox gave Michigan State a chance in the bottom of that seventh inning with an infield single, but Spartans were unable to do anything with it. And if I'm Hubbard in, in this situation, Jerry had the infield single last time. Just play a little bit more in just in case she hits it the same way. Count now even one and one. Two twenty five average on the year for Fox. Jessica Mabry stands on deck if Fox is able to reach. Magna Nemo. Weave and a miss from Fox. They're trying to attack Fox outside there mm -hmm. so that she can't get the bat to it. She tries to slap it along. It's a good approach, especially against slap hitter, but right here, shorten up, just trying to make contact. The one, two, wave and a miss. Magna Nemo punches out Fox, a one, two, three, bottom of the second. Hubbard moved down in the order here for game two, but had a couple of good swings late yep. in that first game after struggling early when one for two. Yeah, she, she had a couple good swings in the last couple of bats. Was getting better and more confident as well and we'll see if she can carry that into this one. Pitch high, evens the count at one and one to Hubbard. Michigan State able to avoid any damage in the last inning after the Badgers threatened, but another failed squeeze for Wisconsin that led to an out on the bases. And sometimes moving down the lineup can kind of relax you, not as much pressure hitting in that five hole. Pitch outside. Now a 2-1 count. Madison Taylor working Inning number three, Ashlyn Roberts was warming up in game one for Michigan State. We didn't see her. Now she's warming down in the bullpen as Taylor falls behind three and one. Good spot right here for Hubbard. Going to get a good pitch over the heart of the plate probably. Just want to get that lead base runner on for Wisconsin. That open stance from the left side for Hubbard. The 3-1. Called strike, catches the outer part of the plate and runs the count full three and two. It's a good 3-1 pitch right there. Outer part of the zone, you can't do too much with it and gets the call. The 3-2, line to third, Barroso makes the play. Taylor battles back from behind in the count. Picks up out number one. Smart right there, went back outside, showing confidence in that part of the zone, and Hubbard, all she can do is reach out and hit it off the end of the bat right to Barroso. Ava Kuzak, now to the plate for the first time today. Did not play in game one. Now making an appearance out in right field in game two. Replacing Kate Linkletter, who got the start, and then Bree Mitchell came in for Linkletter. First pitch misses outside. Kuzak, freshman out of Broomfield, Colorado. 1-0 in on the hands, fouled back to the screen, evens up the count. Seems like 
Madison Taylor continues to just keep on attacking the inner, that, that portion of the plate, whether it's inner for right-handed batters or outside for left-handed batters, showing very conf, being very confident hammering that part of the zone. 1-1. One, one. Ground ball, third base side. Barroso fields and fires for out number two. Alexis Barroso has been very involved in this game defensively, both in this game and the first one. I was just going to say that. She's been fantastic as well. Been flawless over there for Michigan State and been very, just exactly what you want as a third baseman over in that hot hand right there. Just making the routine play. Yeah. Now... From one third baseman to another, it's Skylar Serdashny. Coming to the plate, had the home run in game one. With a two for three game. Retired in the first by Taylor and takes strike one. Yeah, keep throwing it right there. If you're Serdashny, you got to keep the hands in and hammer it inside, but it's really tough to get those hands inside to get around on the baseball, or softball, excuse me in that situation. So Dashney popped up to Kendall Cates in her first at bat. This time grounds one to short. Fox fields and flips over to first for out number three, a one, two, three. Top of the order for Michigan State in the bottom of the third. Mabry, Allen, and Lee to face Magna Nemo. Leaving a miss on the first pitch. Tessa Magna Nemo worked a 1-2-3 bottom of the second after replacing Maddie Schwartz, who gave up a pair in the first. Yeah, she looked good out there getting some awkward swings and lazy fly balls in the process as well. Mabry. Takes and now falls behind 0-2. The only ball that was hit hard in the last inning was Kendall Cates' his ball that went right back up the middle but was deflected yeah. off of the glove of Magna Nemo and Hubbard able to make the play. The 0-2 popped up on the infield and that one will just sneak into the stands. A nice play made in the third row. But while the ball's yellow, this isn't banana ball, so they're not out. It's true. I forgot about that. <laughs> Got to get the Savannah Bananas reference <laughs> in sometimes. Yeah, yeah. But OT right here, going to try to get Mabry to chase. The O2 again. Oh. Strike three called. Got her looking on the outside part of the plate. Mabry goes down. We talked about Colette Allen's struggles against Maddie Schwartz. Now seeing a new pitcher, we'll see if that helps her out a little bit and yeah. helps her to adjust. You've seen she does struggle with that off speed, so I would go back to it. 1-0 count to Colette Allen. Runs inside, quickly 2-0. Allen. Went down looking in that first at bat. Michigan State only had one strikeout all of the first game. Already four strikeouts through two and a third. But quickly, way in front is Colette Allen. Yeah, good start to this at bat right here. 3 0. Probably need a take until you get a strike. And there is Peyton Monticelli on the Badger bullpen. 3 0. Ball four, a four-pitch walk to Colette Allen and a one-out base runner for Michigan State. You see the smile right there. That's a confidence booster. Pitching has been the strength of this Wisconsin team, helping them to wins in 12 their last 14 games. A called strike to start Macy Lee. Her two-out single sparked the rally in the first inning that led to two Michigan State runs. Lee just took a strike. Now you got to be aggressive, go right at it. One of the best hitters on this team over 375 batting average. Pops it up right side. Keller will run out of room and watch it land in the stands. So that's exactly what she does right there. Fouls it off. Now probably going to try to waste the pitch. 
But we saw in that 0-2 count already against Mabry, she went right at her. So you got to be cautious as well. Just choke up, put it in play. One on, one out. Michigan State trying to add on to a 2-0 advantage here in the third. The 0-2. Slapped away foul. Just able to get a piece of it. It was that same spot that they went to with Mabry's 0-2. Now we got to be wary of going back inside after going out and try to change locations. Deep breath and the 0-2. Popped up, shallow center field. Schlosser calls for it, makes the play for out number two. Good work right there, went back inside and that's what that lazy fly ball was the reason for. And First pitch high. Essman with that RBI double. It was her 11th run batted in this season. Second most on this Michigan State team. Called strike evens the count at one. So go high on the first two pitches. See if you change locations here, go down. See if you can get Esmond to roll over. One one low and outside. Esmond back ahead in the count two and one. Alexis Barroso is on deck. Both Esmond and Barroso had really good swings in that first inning with two outs. Trying to manufacture some of that magic again. Here in the third, the 2-1, wave and a miss. Angelopoulos thought about trying to back pick Allen there, but she dives back in safely. Good spot right there, down and low. Not much you can do with it if your Asman just fans on it. Now you got a 2-2 count, you got to shorten up, put it in play. Deep breath from the freshman as she steps in. Going to go back to it. The 2-2, outside. Count now runs full. I like it, she already swung and missed that at once. Just left it a little bit too out for Esmond to chase. She knew they're going back to it. Now you got a full count. Runner's gonna be off on the pitch. That means another ball in the gap. Could add a run for Michigan State. Esmond just trying to put it in play. The three, two. Sliced out to left and it gets by. Kuffel and gonna get all the way to the wall. Allen rounding third. She'll come in to score another RBI double. Mandy Esman have a ball game. And Esman has speed as well. First pitch, wave and a miss. Moroso was thinking the same yeah. thing about mm -hmm. trying to match it and came up empty. Big swing right there. Magna Nemo trying to settle herself down. 0-1, oh, soft ground ball to short. Hubbard can't field it cleanly. They'll come around to score, Esman. Heads up, base running just never stopped. And I mean, she's been putting the ball in play and that's all you can ask for. Ground ball on the first pitch. Hubbard will field and touch the bag to retire the side, but the Spartans strike for two more in the bottom of the third. They take a four run advantage to the fourth inning. In game one, they did so here in game two. It's now four nothing. First pitch misses low to Katie Keller. Flew out to right field in her first step out of this game. If I'm Michigan State though, if Wisconsin gets a couple of base runners, get somebody warming up in the bullpen, have a quicker leash because you have that four run lead. Fouled back to even the count. Taylor with one, two, three innings in the first and third, got herself into some trouble in the second, but was able to work around it. Thanks in part to a failed squeeze attempt by the Badgers. Taylor gets the sign. 
and the 1-1. Off speed, called strike on the outer part of the plate. The count now one and two. Good pitch right there. It continues to attack the outer portion of the plate and now one, two favorable count. Maybe you go back to it. Open stance from the left side for Keller. The one, two. Lined out into right. Wash is there to make the play. And another quick out recorded in inning number four. It was the change of speeds right there. It was a, a pitch that was left over the plate, but since she changed speeds, had her out on her front foot, and that's why she sent a lazy fly ball to right field. Now Kayla Conwen grounded out to Alexis Barroso at third, back in the first inning. Still looking for her first hit of the day. 0 for 3 between the two games. Pair of walks, though. I mean, she has really handled her well. She is just ready to hit one at some point. And hit one she does. You can watch that one fly. Conwent did not miss it. And the Badgers are on the board. I called it. I straight up called it. That was a heck of a swing right over the heart of the plate. You just can't leave it there for her. She's got way too much pop. Her sixth home run of the season. What a swing. And that's exactly what Wisconsin needed. Well, it seems like she was due, partner. Yeah. And she didn't miss it. But now Madison Taylor has to settle back down because a spark for Wisconsin there. Just watch this. I, I want to know how far it went because that was crushed. A long way is how far it went. It's over our camera in the center field. That is far. Probably in the red seater as well. I was trying to hit that one to the <laughs> river and might have done just that. Riley Crane now digging in, trying to keep some momentum for the Badgers, hoping that the home run from Conwent can spark some sort of a comeback. Rain already three hits between the two games. Had a pair in game one and a single to start off game two for. That was back in the second, a called strike. Evens the count at one and one. Hitting usually is contagious, but for Madison Taylor, you gotta just settle and get another out right here to break that momentum up. This is a big spot to see how she can adjust. You still have a three run cushion as Correct. well. One, one, wave and a miss. Big cut right there as well. Crane falling behind. Both teams have battled well today. One, two, slice the short. Fox is there. Right in her tracks for out number two. It's a good swing just right at the shortstop. Big out number two though. Just get out of this inning with only one run given up. That's a big win for Michigan State. Three balls hit really hard this inning. A line yeah. out to right field, the home run, and then a line out to shortstop. And that's a big exclamation mark to probably just be cautious of that because Wisconsin is starting to figure her out. Two away here in the top of the fourth. Taylor. Trying to get through the inning. First pitch swing, and that's some soft contact, but it finds grass. A base hit for Brooke Kuffel. Keeps the inning alive and brings up Molly Schlosser. Good swing right there, right over the heart of the plate. Just didn't get it out far enough, and another bloop single right there. It's a good swing. Wisconsin continues to string them together. Not all of them are going up on the hits column, but they will fall at some point. Schlosser digs in, tying run on deck for the Badgers. Pitch high and outside. Cates came up ready to throw in case Kuffel got too far off that bag down at first. Yeah, doesn't have a ton of speed though, so don't have to worry too much about her. Two outs as well, so you're just probably gonna throw to first unless one of the middle infielders has it. One 
1-0 high and outside. Taylor falls behind, 2-0. Another good count right here. Got to work back in it. Try to go maybe outside. She's been doing a good job of that. Just got to get it out far enough where they can't put it on the barrel. The 2-0. Called strike on the inner part of the plate. Cates came up ready to fire again. Always keeping the head on a swivel with runners on base. And that's a good catcher right there. Some kind of get lazy and don't think about that, and that's when you get stolen on. But she's staying alert out there. The 2-1. Fouled back to the screen. Taylor right back in this count. Mm -hmm. It's 2-2. Two two. Good job to work back in it. Now you got 2-2. Two two. Whatever bit you're most confident with, go back to it and try to get the strikeout. Taylor gets the sign from the dugout. Gets ready to go to work. The 2-2. Chopper on the ground, left side, base it into left field. Couple round second, she'll head to third. There's nobody there. And Schlosser moves up to second as well. Fox started charging towards the other way. Another look at this one. It was a good bitch to get her to roll over. And Barroso just couldn't get over there far enough. Fox kind of thought that Barroso had it and ends up being a single that's going to advance both Braves runners in the scoring position. A chance for the Badgers as Kristana Angelopoulos steps to the dish. The tying run at the plate. Badgers trying to respond to the Michigan State. Two runs put up in the bottom of the third. Nobody's loosening in the Michigan State bullpen either, so this is who you're going to face. Moving forward, most likely. Line drive, right field, gets just foul. Couple of feet Ooh. at most away from changing this ball game, but it lands foul, and for Taylor, it's just a strike. Well, if you're Taylor, do not throw that pitch again because that was almost a clutch just, double right there. Just foul. Wash got to it quick, was trying to get it in. I don't know if she knew that it was foul. The 1-1. One, one. Change up stays high. Brings the count to 1-2. and two. And it's that kind of foul ball right there. Kind of can lose your confidence right there on that swing. You can see she's up there. She can really see it right now and just got to leave it down. Do not give her something to hit. And a chance for a big out here because if you strand two runners in scoring position after a play like that can really be deflating. Correct. Called strike. Good pitch there from Taylor. Evens things at two. Your best pitch right here. That's all, all you can do. Taylor gets the sign from the dugout. Two, two, popped up, base hit into center. One run scores, Slosher comes around, she'll score as well. Throw to second, not in time. A two RBI single from Angelopoulos and it's a one run ball game. What a swing right there. Pitch was right over the heart of the plate, sends it to center field, gets her job done. You had speed on second, you talked about it. Zach was able to score both, and then she was able to move up on the throw as well. Textbook from Wisconsin. Softball can be a cruel game sometimes and a crazy game as Wisconsin had so many hard hit balls this inning. She seems to have found herself in these spots quite a bit today. We'll see if she can execute. First pitch, high, good job by Cates. Keep that one from going to the backstop. It's just it's not close right now. You can see Taylor is clearly shaken. Got to settle herself down. You can see that right there from Cates. That's a veteran catcher right there telling her pitcher to settle down. Deep breath from Taylor. The 1-0. Just misses high and outside. The count now 2-0. She can't find the zone. 
but you do have the number nine hitter up on deck. And you have first base open. Correct. But you still want to find your composure right now, and it looks like she doesn't have it. At the very least, want to give Roberts some time in the bullpen to warm up. Pitch misses high. It's 3-0. and oh. I mean, it's three straight pitches that aren't closed. Hubbard popped out to Barroso in her first at bat back in the third. 3-0, right down Broadway, a called strike. Count now 3-1. Good take right there and able to deliver the strike, but now 3-1, expect a good pitch. And if not, then it's going to be ball four. Taylor settling in. The 3 1. Fouled back to the screen. Good fight from Madison Taylor, and the count runs full. Able to work it back. It's a big pitch right here. You need it. Badgers scored all three of their runs in this inning. Ashlyn Roberts quickly warming for the Spartans. Down the right field line in the pen. The home run from Kayla Conwin. Two RBI single from Angelopoulos. 3-2, skied out into shallow left. Long run in, and it's brought in by Melitello for out number three. 7-8-9, coming to the plate. First pitch swinging, Cates pops it up to third. So Dashney brings it in for out number one. And Monticelli with the strike on the first pitch. Continues to keep on hammering that zone. Militello fouls that one back. O2 count. Militello had a pair of hits in game one. O for one so far. In the nightcap. The 0-2. Misses high. Count now one and two. Yeah, good pitch up. Try to get her to chase right there. She's had some good swings for sure. Want to continue to keep hammering that zone throw strike here. The one two. High and outside. Now the count two and two. Good at bats. It's been the theme of this game between both teams all day, really in the first game as well. 2-2, Two -two, foul back to the screen. Militello stays alive. Good battle right here. And the, the battles from Michigan State have recently paid off with those hits from Barroso, Esman, et cetera. Mandy Esman has been the player of the game for Michigan State so far. Pair of RBI doubles. 2-2, Two -two, Militello drives one into the gap in right center. That's going to get up all the way to the wall. Militello rounding second. She'll head to third. And a one-out triple for A.J. Militello. What a swing right there. Looking to try and bring that run across. Called strike. Magna Nemo struck out Fox back in the second. That was her first plate appearance of this second game. Wave and a miss. Now it's 0-2. They seem to have figured her out, as we talked about in that first at bat, attacking her yep. outside, outside, outside. Yeah, and I would continue to keep on going out there. There's no reason to go inside because that's where she can actually put some good metal on it. A 
0-2, outside. Badger's dugout thought it was strike three, but instead Fox lives to see another pitch. Good take right there. Just go back to it. The one, two, wave and a miss. Fox goes down swinging, first punch out for Monticelli and a massive one as now there's two away for Jessica Mabry. 0 for two in game two, pair of doubles in game one. Ground ball, third base side, through the legs of Serdashny and into left field. And a run comes in to score that the Spartans have scored. In the last two innings, Mabry takes off on the first pitch in safely with a stolen base. Mabry now in scoring position. Spartans trying to add on. You'd see right there, Wisconsin wasn't expecting it. She took advantage. Really heads up play right there by Mabry. The transfer wasn't as clean as she wanted it. Throw down, not there either. And good work from Mabry. Fourth stolen base of the year for Mabry. Base hit to right. Stop sign coming in. And taking second base on a heads up play is Colette Allen. Single and took the bet that the throw wouldn't be coming to second and it didn't. Yep. Barnes have been so good at two out hitting so far in this second game. Lee fouls one back to the screen. Aggressive early in these counts. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's really where Michigan State has shown their aggression. The results have come. When they look more tentative, they're getting weak hits and pop outs and stuff like that. When they show aggressiveness early in the count, that's when they get their pitches to the hit. Lee pops it up out of play. Monticelli in front, 0-2. So you see the aggression right there from Lee. If I'm the pitcher right here, I'm thinking I'm going to go in a place where I can get her to chase, maybe down low or up high enough where she can't hit it. The 0-2. In on the hands. Well, dribbler to second. Flip to first in time to retire the side. Spartan Strand two in scoring position, but a... Two out error from Wisconsin allows Michigan State to extend the lead. Thanks, Veronica. Up and down starts this first year for Coach Show, but yeah. trying to turn things around at this Michigan State program and get them back to some high-level softball. Exactly. We talked about it before, but it's going to be recruiting and getting transfers and freshmen that really change your program. <laughs> Ground ball to short to start the inning. Madison Taylor... Back out there again for another inning and picks up a quick out number one. Big confidence booster to start the inning. Got her to roll over to the shortstop right there and that's exactly what you need. You gave up a couple of hard hit balls last inning and that really set the tempo and Wisconsin was able to mount a, sort of a comeback, chop away at that lead and now you just gotta regain that confidence and composure. How the Lineup card flips over as Skylar Sardashny trying to make up for that error that she had in the bottom of the fourth at the plate. Already a home run in game one. Still looking for her first hit here in game two, though. Oh, one low and outside. Evens up the count one and one. Madison Taylor. Trying to continue what's been a pretty strong performance overall outside of that last inning. And the last time she got into trouble in the second, she bounced back really well in the third. She did. Can she do the same thing here in the fifth? Popped up, foul. Back behind the grandstands on the third base side. And a 1-2 count now to Skylar Sardashny. The one-two. 
pop back up to the screen. Sardashny stays alive. Another good at bat mm -hmm. from the top of this Wisconsin order. She's been so relentless at the top of the lineup with just her bats. She's 0 for 2, but you know what? Quality swings throughout the entire day from her, and that's the reason why she's at the leadoff spot. The 1 2 again. Oh. Runs inside right off the helmet. Sardashny shakes it off. Guess that's what the helmet's there for. Yeah. Um, that it just kind of slipped out of her hand to look like. Ooh. She's okay. That'll leave a mark on that helmet. True. Well, Madison Taylor trying to settle herself down. One on and one out. It's the tying run at the plate, and Kayla Conwent yeah. is on deck. You, you need an out right here. Whatever you can do. Preferably a ground ball is Correct. what you're looking for here. Try and get out of the inning and not let Conwent come up as the tying run. That one driven out to center, and Mabry with an outstanding play in center field for out number two. Take a hit away from Katie Keller. What a day defensively Mabry has had, just lunging for that one and making the catch. Banging the wall earlier in the first game. She's so good defensively and has shown it with the bat as well. And now the matchup to watch as Kayla Conwent steps to the plate. First pitch high up over the head of Conway. It's kind of a warning right there. Hey, you hit the home run last time. <laughs> I don't know about that, <laughs> but. <laughs> well, I'm not giving her a pitch to hit, that's for sure. I would not either. The last one ended up in the red cedar. That was the first hit of either game for Conway. And a ground ball to third in the first inning. Para walks back in game two. Good pitch. Pitch just misses low. Count now 2-0. and oh. Yeah, I mean, I'd rather walk Con went right here and face Crane with two on than Con went in this situation. Riley Crane has been very good today. Already three hits between the two games, including bringing in both of the runs that ended up being the difference in game one, but Conwent's just so dangerous. Yeah. And a 3-0 count now, you'd have to go right at her. We'll see what the Spartans do. The 3-0. Misses high, a four-pitch walk. Pinch runner, probably. Looks like we will see one. As that runner at first represents the tying run. And it is a familiar pinch runner. It's Mary Therese Nevin. Saw her in game one. And Riley Crane has been at the plate in some big spots in this game. The freshman from Tucson is the go-ahead run at the plate. Madison Taylor delivers. First pitch swing and fouled off the end of the bat. The count to 0-1. It's a good pitch. Leave it near the outside part of the zone where she can't really drive it. Some motion in the Spartan bullpen, but no one up and throwing. Crane digs back in. Oh, 
0-1 foul back to the screen. Taylor quickly ahead 0-2, and, and this is exactly yep. where you want to be. Yep, and that's exactly why you want walk Khan went right there. You can attack her outside. Now 0-2, waste a pitch right here. But don't give her a pitch to hit. The 0-2, high and outside. Crane able to lay off. So you've been going out, out, out. Maybe try to jam her here. Change locations if you're crane. Just shorten up your swing. One, two, line drive, snared at third. Alexis Barroso makes the play to retire the side. Wisconsin stranded two in the top half. Had the tying run on base. Michigan State now looking to extend. Essman drives one out to right. Ranging back and making the play is Ava Kuzak for out number one. Man, she's seen the ball well right now. It's a good swing just right at the right fielder. And the ball, she hit pretty hard at the shortstop. Hubbard skies that one out to left. Going back and scaling the wall and can't get to it. Barroso goes deep. And Michigan State extends the lead. A couple of really nice swings today from Barroso, and now you get this, this solo shot right there. Beautiful job, got the hands in. That's where her power is generated, and she's starting to get hot right now for Michigan State. Alexis Barroso, the move up in the order, yep. leads to some success for Barroso at the plate. Janae Wash. Now steps in, drives that one foul towards the Michigan State bullpen. And if you're MSU, you get tomorrow off, and then you're back Sunday. Both of these teams had to adjust the schedule due to the forecast here in East Lansing tomorrow. A lot of rain on tap. Soft ground ball to second. Crane flips it to first for out number two. First pitch misses up. Count now one and oh. Kate Stiggs back in. Spartans trying to add on as much as they can here before the final two innings. Cates pops it up, shallow center. Hubbard ranges back and makes the play for out number three, but Alexis Barroso plays long ball and extends the Spartans' lead. It's six to three, Michigan State after five from Secchia Stadium. Taylor trying to retire for the first time. First pitch misses outside. Couple rocking that bat there. Looks so relaxed in that box. Takes a hack at that one, fouls it off. 1-1 one, one count for Taylor. Still motion in the Michigan State bullpen. Two different pitchers up now. Roberts up, but also Faith Gidry, who pitched a complete game in game one. She's up warming up. Maybe to come in for the seventh here if Michigan State needs it. Taylor. Can't find the zone there. Counting out a two and one. Just want to keep that streak going right now. Taylor getting those outs. And she looked a lot more confident last inning after giving up the three runs in the fourth inning. So it's just about getting this first out. See if she can battle back in the count. Just misses the zone. They'll check down, no swing. And a hitter's count three and one. Good start to this inning for Koffel. Get a three one pitch over the heart of the zone. Try to drive it. Trying to get back on base for a third time in the game and she will. The walk issued by Taylor. That's her second walk in the last two innings. 
and that will looks like be it. Now at the plate. First pitch outside. Schlosser went one for three against Gidry in game one. So far in this game is one for one, also a sack bun. Ground ball, left side, Barroso throws to second. They'll get the lead runner and that's it. Mandy Esman was there to cover the bag and one away. Good work there from Barroso, flipping it over to Esman, get the lead runner. And then Esman was smart just to hold on to it. Runner was clearly there at first. Smart play, just got her to roll over. Get you got a little bit of time off, now she's back out there. Try to get that composure back and after sitting out for a little bit, get warm again. First pitch, misses outside to Angelopoulos. Two RBI single in her last at bat. One zero, -oh. right down Main Street, called strike. Evens things at one. Good pitch right there, and just taking it. Got to be aggressive if you're Wisconsin. That's how you get back in this ball game. Gedry, looking for another ground ball here. Try and get out of this inning. One one, low and outside. Gidry going into the motion, the 2-1, lined out to left, a dive and a nice play by Militello to come up with it. Flashing the leather for Michigan State, and there's two away. Heck of a read right off the bat, charging in, diving, and making the catch in left field. She's had herself quite the day as, as well, defensively and offensively. She's really doing it all. A little shimmy to top it off. The defense for Michigan State has been outstanding mm -hmm. in all facets today. Trying to close things off and split this doubleheader. Called strike on the first pitch to Ellie Hubbard. Hubbard 0 for 2 in game 2. Went 1 for 2 against Gidry. Back in the afternoon game. Gidry trying to come in and retire 3 straight and get things to the bottom of the sixth. Gidry just looks confident out there right now. Three run lead, 0-2 count. See if you can get Hubbard the chase. The 0-2, outside. Kate's coming up firing again. Very wary of the speed of Slosher over at third. My Schlosser, three stolen bases on the season. Badger center fielder can definitely run. One, two, outside. Not really a reason for the Badgers to risk it though. No. With this point in the game, two outs and trailing by three runs. Push your ball away from a full count that would put her in motion, so just no point. Gedry gonna try and pound the zone here on 2-2. Two -two. Fouled just over the top of the Badgers dugout. Hubbard stays alive. Another 2-2 two -two upcoming. It's been a long day for these players. Gidry started it on the mound. 
trying to finish it off as well. Ground ball back up the middle of base set. Schlosser round second, she'll head to third. The throw from Mabry is off of Schlosser, allows the runner to move up. Second and third, and the tying run coming to the plate with two away in the top of the sixth. Nice work of hitting right there, just staying hands in up the middle. Beautiful job, and not a bad throw from Mabry. She's trying to get the throw. The third base runner was right there. Just all around good work from Wisconsin. Now you have the tying run at the plate. It's an interesting situation now for the Badgers. It's the nine hitter, Ava Kuzak. Stepping in, 0 for 2. Pair of ground outs to the left side against Taylor. Takes the first pitch strike on the outer edge from Guidry. Faith Guidry, the sophomore. Trying to step up at this point in the season for Michigan State. Kuzak has struggled at the plate. Ground ball foul. Gidry quickly in control, 0-2. 0-2 mm -hmm. last count. She went outside, a little bit too far out to the batter of the chase. Be interested to see if she goes back there, or she tries a jammer. Time called. Looks like is gonna talk it over. The 0-2, wave and a miss, strike three. Faith Guidry strands two in scoring position and the Spartans take a three run lead to the bottom of the sixth to face Peyton Monticelli. First pitch swinging, pulls it foul, a triple for Militello in her last at bat, came around to score an unearned run on the error by the third baseman, Sir Dashney, on Jessica Mabry's at bat. And she's been swinging the bat so well. It's, it's been impressive to watch today. In on the hand, soft one to short, backhand, the throw, not in time, an infield single for A.J. Militello. First pitch misses inside to Wiley. Wiley's been in and out of the batting cages as well, keep, keeping warm, taking her cuts. one -oh, skied out to center. Militello was on the move. She'll head back to first base as Schlosser runs it down. Error. In her last at bat, that brought in a run. Slices one foul to start this at bat. But she put it in play and that's what caused that Aaron was able to drive in the run in the process. So still been seeing the ball well. Monticelli looking for a ground ball here, although good speed at first and in the batter's box. High foul ball down the third baseline. Count now 0-2. Maybe you're trying to battle. Had some big two strike hits back in game one. Trying to replicate that here in the nightcap. Runs inside and it hits her. Different kind of two strike hit, but Jessica Mabry will take it. And in the first inning of game two, but Lily has been seeing it well since. Yeah, she saw all that over one that one, but just out in front. A little early. Couldn't wait long enough for it. And now down in the count, 0 and 1. The 0 1. Smoke down the line again. Hooked foul. It's 0 and 2. Wonder if 
Maybe Monticelli's going to try and go to an off speed here and slow her down even more because yeah. right now, Allen's starting to get closer and closer to her timing figured out, and if she times up one of those last two pitches, it's going to go. But instead, she takes strike three. Allen might have been thinking the same thing we were and was not ready for that pitch, and she'll head back to the dugout. Had some big hits so far today. Can she deliver another? And can she keep the inning alive for Mandy Essman, who is on deck? And she has been a walking big hit so far in game two. And then Barossa right after her. Who has an RBI single and a home run. Middle part of the Spartan order has been getting it done. Lee pops it up, foul out of play. Two on, two out. A three-run Michigan State lead. In the bottom of the sixth inning, Secchia Stadium. Double header to open Big Ten play. The Badgers took game one. Spartans trying to return the favor in game two. Pitch high and outside. They're trying to back pick down to first. It gets away from Keller, and Militello moves up to third. Not sure why you need to throw in that situation, but it was low. Nice job by the first baseman, Keller, to keep it in front of her, but heads up base running from AJ. They tried to catch Mabry sleeping. She was able to dive back in, and then the throw got away. 2-1, inside. Hitters count three and one. And you do not want to see Mandy Essman mm -hmm. with the bases loaded. Got to think Macy Lee's going to get something to hit here. Yeah, I expect something over the heart of the plate. Spartans trying to break this one open. The 3-1. Foul back to the screen. Count runs full. Good pitch right there. Kept it out. Now full count. Got the runner in first. Will be off on the pitch. at Mabry. She's got speed. Put in the gap. She's going to score from first. Deep breath on the mound from Monticelli. The payoff pitch. Line drive, left field sinking and gonna get by to the wall. One run scores, Mabry coming around. She'll score as well. A two RBI double from Macy Lee and it's 8-3 Michigan State. Hear the chants from the crowd for Mandy Essman as she takes ball one outside. Monticelli just trying to limit the damage and get to the seventh. Esman checks the swing. I think they're going to say it went off the knob of the bat. Yeah, it was foul ball. And it evens things at one and one. Haley Vila has some speed at second base. Base hit from Esman should add another to the Spartan lead. Michigan State has scored in every inning but the second so far in game two. Wave and a miss. Upstairs, and Esman chased it, and it's one and two. Was a little bit too anxious on that one pull their head. Was, she's just so excited to hit the, the softball up there right now. Wants it so bad. Monticelli trying to take advantage of that aggressiveness from the freshman Esman. The one, two. Slicing down the left field line. Nevin slides, but can't come up with it as it lands on the fence in the Badgers' bullpen. Esman steps back in, battling in a 1-2 count. Bela ready to go on contact at second. The pitch. Ground ball, third base side. Serdashny with a stop, tough play. What a pick at first. In time to get Esman. The Badgers with a big play to retire the side, but the Spartans add two more, and it's 8-3 to three Spartans. 
First pitch to Skyler. Sardashny has popped up first base side. Allen with the play, one down. You can just see the confidence coming from Michigan State. Right now able to jam her on the first pitch. She's had herself quite the day, but an easy out right there. And now we got two and three to face to conclude this one. Katie Keller now stepping up. Left-handed hitter stepping in. First baseman, one of the best hitters on this team. He's been held in check in this game, 0 for 3. Ready to get into it. Keller digs in. That wide open stance from the left side. Firm fastball for a called strike. Just hammering that zone right now. The 0 1. Fouled back to the screen. O oh, 2 count. Gidry had some life to those pitches since she came out of the bullpen here in this second game. Through a complete game in game one, now trying to get a six out save in game two. This is high and outside on the 0-2. Keller able to lay off it. Count now one and two. Sophomore Faith Gidry against the senior Keller. Extra base hit machine in the batter's box. Stays alive. Almost took out her teammate with Kayla Conwen in the on-deck circle having to jump out of the way of that one. One, two right here, just go right at her if you're Gidry. Gidry gets the sign from the dugout, ready to go. The one, two. Line drive, base it into left field. A one out single for Katie Keller, and the Badgers have life. It's exactly what Wisconsin needed. Keller just shortened up her swing, sent it to the left field. Beautiful job. And we got a dangerous hitter up at the plate. Conwin. One for two in this game with a walk and a moonshot home run to start the Badgers scoring back in the fourth. They scored all three of their runs in that fourth inning. Gidry delivers high and outside. Against Gidry back in game one, Conwin went 0 for 2 with a pair of walks. But Gidry did a good job not giving her anything really to hit. Taylor did for the most part as well. Just left the one pitch over the plate and it went a long way. Pitch just misses. Spartan crowd didn't like that one too much. Count now 2-0. and oh. Good amount of Wisconsin red in this crowd as well. Yep. Making the trip for the weekend series. The 2-0. -oh. Called strike. Outer half of the plate. Count now to two and one. Riley Crane on deck. Freshman second baseman. Conwin fouls it back to the screen and it's two and two. Good pitch right there. Ground ball here could end this yep. thing. Kidry trying to get Conwin to roll one over. Change speeds or locations. Keep it down. Don't want to give 
Kayla Kahn wants something that she can lift out of this ballpark. The 2-2. Hooked foul down the third baseline. Another 2-2 upcoming for Conwin. 2019 Big Ten Player of the Year. Continued to put up good numbers for this Wisconsin team. Already with a home run her sixth of the season earlier in this game. Yeah, she's just so dangerous. Do not leave something out over the heart of the plate. The 2-2. Down in the dirt, Conwin lays off. Count runs full, three and two. You knew that this Wisconsin team mm -hmm. wasn't going to go down without a fight. They've fought in at-bats all day long. This is the 14th inning of softball between these two teams, and we have seen it throughout the entirety. Neither of these teams are going to go down without a fight in any at-bat. 3-2, ground ball off of Guidry. Going to be a tough play. Fox will eat it. And two on with one away, and Riley Crane coming to the plate. And that's something that Guidry just had to let that ball go through. You let that ball go through, that's probably going to be a double play ball game. But the instincts of just being a pitcher and the reflexes right there made her reach down. You just got to wonder, had she just let it go on through, Esmond was right there to twist it. Bree Mitchell in to pinch run. Crane stepping into the box. Had some big hits. Her two outs in this game, both line outs. One to the third baseman, Barroso, and one to the shortstop, Anna Fox. She went around on the first pitch from Guidry. The count to 0-1. Big pitch right there, get that strike one call. You still have breathing room if you're Michigan State, but you'll trade anything for outs at this point. Correct. Wave and a miss. Tried to slap it yeah. one, came up empty. There's too much velocity on that from Guidry for Crane to have a chance. Yeah, interesting choice right there to change her approach. Try to slap it, but didn't work out. She's just trying to get on right now. That's the mentality shown right there. Now she's going to shorten up, just try to put it in play. 0-2, try to get her a chase. The 0-2, outside. Spartan crowd thought they had strike three, but that one was out. Yep. Count now one and two. You just saw her switch to that slap hitter for a second, and that's why they went out in that situation. The one, two, ground ball, left side, Fox flips to second. No relay to first, Essman holds on to it, but Spartans get one, and now two away. MSU will definitely take that smart play on both ends. Shortstop just able to flip it over to Essman, holds on to it, get that put out there. Now you got runners on the corners. Runner on first does not matter, just want to get the out. Michigan State still with a five-run advantage. One out away from splitting the doubleheader to open Big Ten play with a top 30 RPI team in Wisconsin. It's very impressive, and, and it all comes down to Sunday. Called strike on the first pitch to Brooke Kuffel. Kuffel has reached in all three plate appearances today in game two. Struggled a little more against Guidry in game one, went one for three. But Kuffel against Madison Taylor. Hit by pitch, a walk and a single. And now the Badgers down to their final strike. It's 0-2. If I'm Gidry, I'm going right at her. Just took two straight pitches in a row. Be aggressive.
fans to their feet. And time called as suspense builds here at Secchia Stadium. Right back into the box is Kuffel. The 0-2. Soft line drive, sinking foul. Down the right field line. And we'll get another 0-2. Good work right there to stay alive. Are you surprised at all that we had a battle in this final at no, bat? Absolutely not. And you got to credit Wisconsin not giving up like you said, Zach. Just continuing to keep on trying just to give those quality at bats and work Gidry. Another 0-2 coming to Brooke Kuffel. The sophomore steps back in. Gidry rocks and delivers. Misses high. Count now two and two. Good work from Kuffel right here. Just saw the pitch up. Got to imagine they're going to change locations on you. The pitch rocketed down the line, foul towards the dugout. And over towards one of our cameras over there, down the third base line. Glad to see Mr. Radosevic down there is okay. He's cold though. I'm sure he is, I'm sure he is, but you know, our crew's been being <laughs> troopers all day, so shout out to everybody. Well, he's Making us guy. look and sound good. The 2-2. Two -two. Oh. Just outside. This crowd was ready to explode. The Spartans were three steps off the field, and instead a 3-2 pitch coming. I thought that was strike three as well. It looked like it. Umpire's been calling it. But it, it's the same thing for the umpire in this situation. You don't want to ring somebody up to end the ball game. Especially not when it's close. 3-2, same pitch, and that's ball four. And just like that, the Badgers, when it looked like they had no life, they still fight. Base is loaded, two outs, top of the seventh inning. The Molly Schlosser, now to the plate. Tying run on deck for the Badgers. Just gotta get on, keep the line moving. First pitch swinging, knuckler that stays foul down the third base line. Those are always tough, have some weird spin to them. Yeah. The 0-1, misses outside. Evens up the count one and one. Gidry trying to paint those corners and yep. just struggling to hit the edge. It's almost there. One, one, right to short, Fox with the grab, and the Spartans split the twin bill in East Lansing and get to one and one in Big Ten play. What an effort in this second game hitting-wise for Michigan State. 